the start and conclusion of this three-part episode. Episode 6, Black Metal Combat. We're back at Giovanni's base where Black, where Black Sanchez has successfully put Roshu in their cell, and now they wait. Oh, darn it! These bars are rubber-coated! Oh, when Sancho gets here, he'll give you all a real shock! And then, a little bit of distance away, Nate Circus talking to Robotnik. So, Robotnik, let's go over once more. What will happen when Sancho comes to rescue his girlfriend? <laughs> Alright, Nate Circus. <laughs> well, first, Black Sancho will issue a challenge with Sancho. Then, during the battle, Black Sancho will lead Sancho towards the ets on the that's on the floor. Then I'll press this button, which will launch down, launch the dome, and trap him in. And then I'll activate the energy drain, which will reduce Sancho to a weakling in mere seconds. After that, you and your friend can do whatever you want to him. Recharge him, mind control, string him along. <laughs> Why should I care? Because I'm Robotnik, Robotnik, I'm a mad genius, Robotnik, Robotnik. I create chaos with my machines. I'm the darkest devil. I mean, I have a monkey. In, I mean, I have a monkey in my robot. Wait, the monkey is a robot. I turn the animal to a robot with a process I call robotization. <laughs> oh, God, director commentary. Oh, that is so lame. I don't know why Sonic. I hate Eggman. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but <laughs> that has to be the stupidest thing I've drawn in my life. <laughs> Ah, uh, continuing on with the story. Meanwhile, Sancho and Sonic are closing in on Giovanni's base. Rosie, I'm coming! We must be close. I see a building ahead. And they stop right in front of it. Sancho, stop! What's up, Sonic? I smell trouble. He bends down and picks up the thing on the ground. It's a medal with Eggman's face on it. This is the face of my nemesis, Dr. Eggman Robotnik. You lead on, Sancho. I'll back you up if there's a trap. Okay? And so they enter. Nate Sark, release Rosie now! Sancho says as he enters. I knew you'd come for me, sweet boat! Is that his. And then Sancho thinks, I know Eggman will have a grand trap in store. I'll get Sancho out of the end. Oh, is that his rose shoe? She looks like like Amy. Boy, if those two meet. Those two girls meet, that is. <laughs> and Nate Sark says, Ah, science you! How good it is to see that you! How good it is to see you again! Allow me to introduce my father, Giovanni, and our associate, Doctor Robotnik. Hello! <laughs> I am pleased to say that we do have your girlfriend captive in our facilities. But to my dismay, it was not I who kidnapped your girlfriend. But allow me to present the true culprit, and your clone, my clone, Black Science you. Just call me Blatchu. And now we must fight! Pfft, mock punch. Oh, sneak attack, huh? Here's my counter, spin dash. Pfft, oh. And not bad. Now it's time for me to dish it out. Thunderbolt! Pfft, Mrs. Sancho. <laughs> Mega kick hits Black Sancho on the head. <laughs> getting tired, Blatchu? I'm just getting warmed up. Ho 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 ho! He's standing on the edge. I wouldn't waste my energy, Sancho. That's tempered glass. You won't be able to shatter it or, si or shock it. <laughs> Sancho, no. Why, you? When I get out of here, I'll... And now, I'll press the button. That'll sap your strength and energy. Now, if I have a say in it, Robotnik. What? Breaks the remote control. Sonic does. No! What? You. <laughs> it's better maybe Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Let Sancho and Roshu go, and that may go easy on you, Eggman. That's Dr. Robotnik to you, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I had something else planned for that Pokemon's escape. <laughs> now I'll send it against you, pesky hedgehog. <laughs> go! My metal Sonic you! And then emerges the metal Sonic you. And then Sonic you come up, come up, come commentates, Hey! He don't look a thing like me. Boy, Eggman Sonic says, You sure like imagination compared to Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic, you! Attack! Shoots thunderbolts. <laughs> Sonic dashes and he misses. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Is that the best you got? 
And then they're chasing each other. Mel Sanji is chasing Sonic all over the creation. Sanji's and then Sanji tries to go attack him, but then he spin dashes away, and then head and then heads towards the uh, dome, warning Sanji first to stay out of the way. And he says, "Come and get it. Come and get me, Metamon." Sanji says, "Sorry, say the sign." And then Mel Sanji crashes right to the dome, and then Sanji gets out and he said, and he tells Sai, "Sai, spin dash towards me between my hands." He's gathering up an energy ball of lightning between his hands. So Sonic, so Sonic spin dashes into between Sonic's hands, and Sonic holds him like a ball, and then he initiates a lock on with a ready aim, and then he fires a zap cannon attack using Sonic as the ball. And then Sonic dashes towards Rosie, so he's like, "Nice save, Rosie." And then Sonic real, and then Sonic launches. Flies towards Mel Sonic. Mel Sonic she realizes he can't do much, so he goes to a defense curl, and then Sonic collides with the Mel Sonic. goes around right the building, goes right up to a cliff, and he launches up the lifts it off the cliff like a spin dash, and he, and he flies up to the moon. Meanwhile, back in the lab, Rosie, stay back. <laughs> Cuts the bars. I'm free. Thank you, sweet bolt. Yay. And then our three main villains here are in shock, and oh, they're speechless. And Sonic says, "Well, hey man, it looks like you are licked again and shot too. <laughs> Y'all should have learned never to mess with true lo with true pokey love." Rosie, a boat. Oh, just a moment. Oh, Black Sonic, you. And he's in a daze after the battle. He's tired. He's like, hmm. And then she says, "This is for kidnapping me!" And she just lands a punch on the punch on his face and knocks a couple of his teeth out. Then, meanwhile, on the moon, we see an open crater with, that's been made, and there are a couple of eyes lighting out of it. This metal science you may make a comeback later. Dun dun dun. And then a couple of days later, at the Quickville Mall at the edge of Quickville, Amy and Rosie are shopping, and they're about to meet each other. They don't have not made sure yet. Sonic's gonna really notice me in this new outfit. Sonic will want to snuggle me after watching this DVD. <laughs> One day, Sonic and I will be married. Oh, it's so cool that he enjoys romantic comedies too. <laughs> and then, huh? Oh. What? And then they're thinking, Wow, that girl looks like me. Cute outfit though. <laughs> and then Rosie and Amy go into their conversation. And Rosie says, oh, I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, I'm Amy Rose. I'm Rose Chew, but you may call me Rosie. You shopping for anybody? Just pick up a romantic comedy for me and my sweet boat side shoe. He loves me. Oh, me too. I bought a new outfit to wear for my Sonic. It's so hard for him to express his feelings, but I can tell that he has, this, has some for me. Oh, my sweet boat treats me. So right. He knows the right things to say, and he totally respects me. We spent a lot of time together. No way! I can't even get side to stand still! You are so lucky! And then... I come in, and I say, Oh, pardon me, but they're going to girl talk for a couple of hours, and I'd like to save time and money on my car insurance by switching over to Gecko. <laughs> End of the episode. Stay tuned for this next sub-episode.